Hi there. Midnight downtown Pittsburgh, occupy Pittsburgh's tent city. On this night, at this time, there's no one here as I walk toward the encampment's kitchen area. Well, there's a rat. A rat scurries across the sidewalk into a tent where people supposedly eat every day. It's the third one I've seen. Are you one of the Occupy folks? Yep, I'm one of the Occupy. Are you it? No. But on this night, looks like he is. So there are actual folks, there are actually folks other than you stay over here every night? Yes. How many? Huh? How many people stay every uh, night? Between uh, 20 to uh, 20, 25. Are you sure? I'm positive. Yeah. John is a homeless vet who says he was living here under the trees long before protesters arrived. Over the next hour, he takes me on a walking tour of the camp. This is the library, empty. Somebody's been in and messed it up. This is the so-called dining hall. It's messy, though. Is it? The tents the site are a mess, garbage, bottles, food on tables, and row after row of empty tents where you would expect to find occupiers sleeping. All of the tents, at least 60 of them, empty. We have a thermal imaging camera. A few nights later, using technology, we once again found no occupation here. If I'm pointing it and there's somebody there, it'll pick up, pick up their uh, heat signature. Using a thermal imaging camera, Moon Run Fire Captain Nate Cashmere searches for human life in these tents. This is what a man smoking a cigarette on a park bench looks like. This is what a woman walking down the street looks like. But the camera, pointed at tent after tent, finds none of that. Okay, so we walk through this entire encampment. Have you seen anyone in any of these tents with this thermal imaging? No, I have not, Marty. 40 minutes into our walk, we found this man on his way out. Because I've been here two nights in a row, I haven't seen anybody. You're it. I don't know how that is. But we went back a third, a fourth, a fifth, even a sixth night and could find no one here. Is it an occupation when you have one person here? Is that an occupation? By what? definition. What's the point of an occupation, Marty? It's if it's, no it's not to stand around. It's not to sleep in the grass. It's well, not to I have the tents live in a tent. Sleep here. Because we're maintaining the space as a public forum. We were here six nights, but Kevin so Joyce, the, the owner of the Carlton Restaurant then. in One Melon Center next door, walks through here every morning, every night. Been here close to a hundred times. These tents are basically unoccupied. These are, this is really more like unoccupied Pittsburgh because the, the tents are really empty. And he says this empty occupation has affected his bottom line. We've got two restaurants in one Mellon Bank Center. We pay a lot of rent for those restaurants, and certainly the quality of uh, uh, of living in the building has not been good. But enough's enough. If we're going to see videos like this, we showed Pittsburgh Mayor Luke Ravenstall our video. It confirmed what he's been hearing. There's no real occupation here. But the mayor has also heard what we have that hundreds of reinforcements are now being called here from Washington, D.C. Obviously, this tape shows that nobody's been there for a long period of time. Uh, if a large number of people all of a sudden show up, um, I think it really shows you what the Occupy folks are all about. Um, and at that point, we have no choice but to engage and to, to really enforce uh, you know, the judge's order.